Hey guys, today we are going to talk about possibly the worst cheat that you can do, which is drawing extra cards. It is also the most common cheat because there's so many cards that will allow you to draw cards, discard cards, and if you draw extra cards, you do well. So take a look, he draws two, and then he draws one. So go back, stop the video, play in slow-mo, we will take another look at it. The way he draws it, Faithless, Faithless Looting, the card he's playing, says draw two, discard two. He draws two as if he was drawing one, and then he drew one more. So in a total, three cards were drawn from Faithless Looting. Obviously, that's a huge advantage, right? Drawing extra card is the most common cheat I've seen with my own eyes. And sometimes I'll call, say, hey, how many cards in hand do you have? And the person will be like, oh, you know, I misdrawn. Sorry, my bad. That's just not acceptable anymore because if this guy is willing to cheat like this and it's very difficult catching how he does it. Remember, the two cards go as one card. And we'll watch the video again, slow down the video, and you can see that he draws three cards. When I first watched the video, I didn't understand what the cheat was. I was like, oh, he drew two because he acts like he draws two. Now, he did apologize after someone called him out on it, but that's kind of reported himself after someone reported him already. It would be like, we caught you, criminal or cheater. And then cheater's like, oh, well, I'm gonna report myself. No, no, you've already been caught, dude. So I don't know like if reporting yourself is actually that helpful. This is the most common cheat I see, drawing extra cards, scrying and drawing instead of scrying. I, I mean, I don't know why they would ever do this on camera. Like it seems it's probably something out of habit. So take another close look at this. You almost cannot see it happening. And he obviously he's in the top eight, so he's done very well. How many times has he done this? I don't know. You see, he's gonna draw a card. He's gonna flash it back. Pay close attention to his first draw. There's two, there's two, and there's one. Three cards total, but the way he draws those two and the way he presents the other one, that to me screams like he knows what he's doing, right? I mean, the, the way he does it shows that he probably has done this many, many times and developed a skill for it. Because when I watched the video and I didn't read what it was, I was trying to figure out how, what the cheat was happening, what the actual cheat was. I didn't figure it out because I was like, oh, he drew two. What, what's the cheat? Did he not discard? Is that like what happened? But he does discard two. He just drew, drew three cards. He drew two and then one. There's no card in this game that would have that type of effect where you draw two and then one, and you notice how he rubs the one, like, oh, hey, I only drew one. That is a telltale, that is a telltale sign that he knows what he's doing, and he's done this before. Overall, this is the most common cheat. I'm glad that he apologized for it, but I don't know how many times he has run this cheat. It just looks very clean. It looks like he developed it. We're gonna take another look at it. Remember, watch his first draw phase, and then watch his second draw phase, and then compare the two. If you're only gonna draw two, that's not what you do. So slow it down, and see, okay, here's the cut. He'll draw the card for turn. He'll flash back Faithless Looting, which only allows him to draw two, but he will draw two in the first action. So there, there's two, there's two, and there's one. You, and then he rubs the one as if he was presenting the one, but he didn't rub the two, right? <laughs> Magic the Gathering is ridiculous. I mean, we're playing a card game. We are playing a card game. Can we not have fun? Can we not be regular human beings and not cheat each other all the time? Like, I'm sick of it. And this is probably something I, this is something you, if you play Magic long enough and you play Magic against these Pro Tour grinders, who are always in the top eight, always beating down these newbies, then this is what, how they win. This is how they win. They draw extra cards. They have extra cards in hand. How can you beat them? They're drawing an extra card like every turn. Like you can't overcome that advantage. And the way he does it, just how smooth the first draw is and then how he presents the second card or the third card in this case as a single card, but he doesn't present the first two as single cards. And there's no card that allows you to draw two one time and then one another time. Even if it allow you to draw two, I would present the two. 
right? Like, oh, I drove two. It's the same way he presented the one. This to me is, you know, we talk about Nan and him crying and crying and crying. I do feel some pity for him. Yes, I get it. He took advantage of a non-English speaker. That was very terrible. Ethically, he's not a great guy. But this one, I mean, this is leaps and bounds beyond because he's probably drawing extra cards every single game he plays. Oh, another extra card. The way he does it shows, it, it just looks so clean. I couldn't identify it until I read that there was three cards drawn. I was like, okay, when? He only drew two. And then he drew two in the first draw, and then he drew one, in, and then he presented it because I was like, oh, he presented it. Slow it down, watch it a few more times. <laughs> it's exhausting. Anyway, bye, guys. Also, the Patriots won, which is really good. My boy, Tom Brady, greatest QB. G-O-A-T. Anyway, bye guys.